have come to content creation and in India today finding your true identity doesn't have to be one person. You can be as desi as Janvi, as cool desi as she said, as cool desi as Janvi. You can be as punk as Shantanu, but you will still find a community that will feel a sense of belonging with you. And thus the onus, which is what I want to bring everybody's attention to. A lot has been said about influencers and the influence they have and what do they do with it. A very infamous dialogue was said on any platform that influencers are become. Any brand can go and give them how much money they can. And they'll say whatever. Right? So has that changed in the industry? Shantanu, why don't you pick that question? Has that, is there a conscious thought now on what idea, what brands, what kind of thinking are you really going to put out through yourself and through your brand? See, the thing is, uh, what has happened over time is the influencer market is sort of saturated. Now, when you're speaking, uh, when you're talking about brands, they understand the importance of marketing and branding in a very subtle way. It has to be universal in nature, right? It can't be like, okay, I'm watching an ad. It shouldn't be evident that I'm watching an ad. It beats the purpose of influencing anything. So what happens in that scope is you have to build your own brand, which is organic, which is natural. And to have that, you need to have a core audience. So there are a few things which a community will always relate to. Joy, pain, and salvation. So I come from a place where we have seen all three of those things. And pride. And of course, pride, like Janvi said, pride in our own culture. So if you sort of can capitalize on four different or maybe one of those things, you can start relating to people more, be it through art, be it through uh, social media, be it through travel, be it through any medium, whatever you call it. So the moment you start building that particular sense of collectiveness among a group of people, be it a small group of people who listen to the same kind of music, maybe have been through same kind of experiences. So you start building a niche. And that niche will give you that originality. And that's what the brands look for. They want to be more niche in their approach and they want to also encompass that uh, organic nature of influencing people. So the days of putting an advert out or hiring an influencer just because they have million followers is gone. Now what they look for is the authenticity. Numbers don't matter anymore is how organic your reach is. Is that true? Numbers don't matter? No. Nope. Most I mean, of them are bots. I, I would say authenticity definitely matters more than numbers because it's like, it's a story on your page, you know, as, a, as the panel says, we're storytellers and the story of our lives is on our page. So uh, brands really, really look for that. They don't look for somebody who's doing one mobile phone ad one day and then uh, another the next day for sure. But, I, I think, but I think, tell me this. Yeah. When do you, since you are the brand, yeah. you are the influencer, when do you stop being the influencer? When do you start being that person? It's, or is it, or that Lakshman Rekha simply does not exist? That's such a good I, I, I think the onus of drawing that line is actually on the influencer because we know people who uh, do this like first thing in the morning and even on Saturdays, Sundays, but for us, it was very clear right from the beginning that we weren't leaving one corporate rat race to get into another. So, you know, we, we made it a point to kind of draw that line that uh, two days in a week, we are not like weekend, not necessarily that Saturday and Sunday, but sometimes because of work, Sunday has to be uh, dedicated to work. So we take Monday off, you know, so I think I think it's really uh, up to the content creator or the influencer to draw that line. And there's no like clear definition of yeah. where it starts and where it stops. Yeah. But yes, at the end of the day, it does kind of permeate into, um, you know, a lot of the things that you do and a lot of times throughout the week. Well, I think as Shantanu said, if, if you're being authentic with your audience, it feels so effortless. Sometimes you're working, but it doesn't even feel like work because you're actually putting a very authentic part of yourselves out into the world. So the boundaries are also very blurry sometimes. You have to be up for it because if I'm going on holiday, I don't want my phone around me. I don't know how you guys do it. But moving on, we're coming to the close, uh, closing of this session. I want a quick, quick sort of last comments on... Where is this going? We also see a lot of 
like you said, we have saturated the content across platforms, more and more platforms, more and more content, more and more influencers, so to say. There are also a lot of one-time hits and one-time wonders. So, how, where is this going and what next for influencing? Like I said, Bollywood now acknowledges, politicians acknowledge, uh, brands of course of acknowledge. What next now in this influencer journey? Shantu, you and then I'll go around. I think uh, uh, the whole market dictates a socio-economical change through the eyes of an influencer, through the eyes of, uh, of social media, basically. That's the greatest influence we can have, right? So I think it's about reform. It's about socio-economical change that can be brought about through the that's strong powerful. medium. Change and reform through influencing. influencing. That's powerful. Yeah, I think that's where we're headed, like be it any... Uh, uh, political party, be it any sort of uh, form of rules or any uh, ministry, there's always a social media handle, right? So, for example, I've worked with the Ministry of Culture, so they have an ongoing social media campaign regarding stuff. So, people have recognized the importance of it. And I think it's slowly seeping into the whole uh, reform movement. And it is an independent industry which is going to grow as we are growing as artists and influencers, and we have to deal with it. Uh, I think it is just the beginning what you're looking at right now and uh, because alag -alag content creators samne aare hai, alag -alag content samne aara hai which is taking the country forward for sure but I also think over the time uh, it will uh, be like agar aap apni audience ke saath, apni content ke saath valuable hai so it will be a, you know a long game for sure. Value add Yeah, is value addition okay. is the key and value will create virality in the long run also. So that consistency and authenticity as we discussing the previous question also ki mere liye wo lakshman rekha nahi hai i am the same person on social media and and offline also so i am the same and fir agar aap itne authentic hote hai na to it 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 is actually very effortless to put out content in a long run also so that kaam nahi lagta as they used to say right yeah kaam to lagta hai a building on that you can put up a facade for a day or two a month max but when you are putting out content, uh, just as Janvi carry, that rose agar dalna hai, to wo facade drayega nahi zada time tak. You know, uh, yeah. your your authentic self will closing, come out. Closing comments now, yeah. With it, yeah, then I I just think that the idea of the idea of celebrity that all of us grew up with, you know, movie stars, etc., is dissipating now. There are uh, it's it's a very fluid concept. So all of us decide what niche we want to cater to, what our community is. So overnight virality is also not a bad thing because that might help somebody uh, like this tea seller that we were talking about before the panel. It might democratize and bring so much empowerment to a community. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what's important to remember, that all of us are thriving in our little niches and doing the best we can for our little communities that's out nice. there. That's yeah, nice. Exactly. With it. Yeah. The lady yeah. said it all. Yeah. <laughs> I would just say that I love uh, the fact that it has uh, uh, become democratized now. Like, you know, till a few years ago, there was this perception that, oh, not everybody can uh, become an influencer or this or that. It wasn't even considered a profession, right? Now, the beauty is that uh, if you have the talent, if you have the dedication, if you have the skill, uh, anybody can do that. And that's, the, that's an amazing thing in a country like India where so much can be done to highlight different corners, different facets, landscapes, culture, food. So, you know, th that I think is just the beginning. And uh, it's going to evolve and grow into uh, an amazing industry and a platform. And I, I think, think it's going to yeah. be like, uh, it depends on creator to creator. Someone wants to be a celebrity. Someone wants to get into a movie or maybe an OTT. There's a space for all. Yeah, exactly. there's a space yeah. for all. And I think I, we should look forward to be a change maker for the country now. Exactly. To represent that content that can bring and evolve your country and take it forward. I think what we can build consensus on this panel is about that the next step is going to be bringing about change. Yeah. The influence is going to ch get into the change that you bring. I loved what you said, Janvi, about uh, value will define virality. And I loved what Shantanu also said about how uh, impact is going to be you know, a major focus as well. So yeah, looking forward to that time, like I said, whoever you are, 
how much ever you can raise your eyebrows to influencers or what they do, you cannot ignore them anymore. They are everywhere <laughs> and they've got you, you know, looking at the stuff that they want, how they want. And that is, you know, just the times we all have to accept and make. On that note, thank you all so much for thank joining so much. us thank and all so of much. you thank over you. here. Thanks so much.